I'm Chef Frank, this is Pro Cooks, and today we're making mayonnaise. Oh yeah, look at that. For my mayonnaise, this is what you're gonna need. Vegetable oil, water, fresh lemon juice, eggs, mustard, salt and pepper. Part of the reason I wanted to do mayonnaise is because it's a foundational technique. All chefs learn how to do this in culinary school. Basic emulsified sauces are a skill you need to have as a chef. Now mayonnaise is not a mother sauce and mother sauces are hollandaise, bechamel, velouté, tomato, and espagnol. Those are the five French mother sauces, but I think mayonnaise should be one. Fight me on it. Put it in the comments, tell me what you think. An emulsification is putting two things together that don't normally stay together. In this case, it's gonna be uh, liquids and oil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some mechanical force by whisking, and we're gonna use some chemicals. Basically, the chemicals are mustard and the egg yolk to hold this emulsion together. This is a super stable emulsion once you get it right. Why would you wanna make your own mayonnaise? First of all, like I said earlier, it's a great skill to have. Second of all, it's cheaper than buying mayo in the store, and mayo is going up. It's expensive, because I buy this groceries in this house. Uh, and third, it's kind of one of these sauces that is so versatile, you can add tons of things to it, you can mess around with it and have fun with it. Uh, you have the control of the ingredients. You can use any oil you want in it. I'm using vegetable oil, you can use olive oil. You can basically play with it from the, the basic standpoint and then add to it later on. I know that people are cautious about eating raw eggs, and I understand that. But as always, you have to fit this in your comfort zone. If you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. Don't, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you to make mayonnaise. Here's the thing though, and this is what I think, is that I will go out and eat over easy eggs with runny yolks. So I kind of feel like they're kind of the same thing here, and if I'll take that risk, I'm gonna eat mayonnaise. So if you're not comfortable using the raw yolk, there are products in the stores that are pasteurized yolks that you can use to make your own mayonnaise. So use that. First thing I wanna do is get my bowl steady. I wanna be able to do this by myself and if I whisk and I'm pouring my oil and I try and do it like this, my bowl's gonna go everywhere. So the thing you have to do is get a towel, make sure it's damp, not soaking wet. I have my rectangle, I grab it from opposite ends. I twirl it like you're gonna go, you know, someone with a towel at the pool twirl it and then we're gonna make a nest for our bowl. So I kind of get it to the size of the bowl and then I'm gonna remove my bowl and I'm gonna just tie it. Not in a tight knot, just kind of fold it over each other. So I have a little nest, I put my bowl in here, my bowl sits up off the counter and now you can see when I'm whisking, the bowl does not move, it is sturdy and set where it needs to be so I can use both of my hands freely. Let's start making the mayo. I'm gonna take my mustard put it into my bowl. If you don't want mustard, that's fine. Uh, mustard is just really good at helping this get emulsified. Good flavor too. I'm gonna add some lemon juice. Whenever I squeeze my lemons, I cut it. I take the cut side, put it against my hand. And then when I squeeze, you can see the lemon juice drips down my fingers and the seeds are caught between my hand and the cut lemon. So lemon juice, always use fresh lemon juice. Right? Don't use the stuff that's in the container that you buy, it's been sitting on the shelf. Fresh lemon juice is so much better. And then I'm gonna use egg yolks. And I'm gonna take the whites, dump the whites. You can always save the whites for meringues if you want to, but I'm not gonna save them today. Because it'll end up sitting in the fridge and I'll end up throwing them away. Oop, catch your yolk. Okay, the yolks are in. I'm gonna hit this with some salt. I'm using kosher salt. I like to add a fair amount of salt now because once this is an emulsion, it takes the salt a long time to melt. Uh, if I put the salt in now, it melts in the lemon juice. I'm gonna put a little water too. So the salt will melt in the lemon juice and the water. If you season it later, you'll get little pockets of salt. Black pepper, I like black pepper in my mayonnaise. All right, and then I'm just gonna whisk this together until it's thoroughly combined. See, one hand. Look, Ma, one hand. So once this is combined well, I'm gonna keep my water off to the side, 
Keep my salt and pepper off to the side because I'll have to season later. But once this is well combined, we can start the emulsion process. And I have my vegetable oil and I'm just gonna whisk and I'm gonna slowly stream it in there until I know that I have an emulsion. And you'll know you have an emulsion when the oil doesn't kind of pool at the top or separate it into like big beets. So I'm just gonna whisk, slowly add oil drop by drop right now. In the beginning, you have to go slow. Once we get our basic emulsion, you can go as fast as you want. You can pretty much dump oil in there. But right now we want to go slow so that we know that emulsion starts. Look at that. So you can see as I add my oil, it starts to get thick and that's what I want. Look how nice and thick that's getting. I have a good emulsion. Right now I can add a fair amount of oil without the emulsion breaking because once you have that, that basic emulsion, once you have that starter emulsion, you can usually go a little quicker with the oil. Three oaks can hold a fair amount of oil, usually about one cup, three quarters to one cup of oil per yolk. So I have a nice thick mayonnaise right now. Look at that, that is beautiful, look at that. I'm gonna give it a taste just to see how I'm looking on seasoning. I definitely need a little more salt. and just a little more pepper. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of water. To see if I add some water, my mayonnaise will go from yellow to a nice bright white. So let's add that. You can see the color changes a little lighter. All right, get my tasting spoon, no double dips. Mm. Really good. Um, it's lemony, you can taste the mustard, it's seasoned really well. It's got the right consistency. What else can you do with this mayonnaise? I have three quick variations right here. I'm gonna get some of my mayonnaise and put it in each bowl. The first bowl, chipotle, right? Get your chipotles, leave the adobo in, chop them up, look at that. Quick, easy, spicy variation. Put it on your street corn. Next variation, capers and dill. Capers and dill, baby. This is great for, if you're fancy, tea sandwiches, right? Uh, I think this would really go good with um, smoked salmon. Put it on a potato salad, but capers and dill, mm. And then my last variation is sriracha, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Right, dip your, um, dip your maki rolls in this. Put it on a salad, dip some cucumbers. Mm. Three quick variations on this mayonnaise. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We have merch in the description down below. We also have a PO box down there. I'd like to thank our Patreon patrons for helping us out. We really appreciate it. And that's it, that is my mayonnaise. Remember, this is a foundational skill that all cooks should know. It's delicious, it's super versatile, and it's easy. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.